5G is important to Docomo Pacific because we see ourselves as a thought leader and a technology leader uh, in this market. 5G will demonstrate that leadership. It will be a competitive differentiator for us in this market. We launched our 5G lab here in uh, early this year, and that's in collaboration with the other labs, Docomo Labs in Japan. We worked very closely with Docomo in Japan to launch 5G here, and co we're coordinating with them very closely. Uh, in this small market, Docomo can see how things are going here, and I think it will be helping them in their own launch. Guam is a great test bed because we are a very small market, but also a very sophisticated market. We have uh, military bases where people come from all over the world. They have high expectations of quality networks, and uh, our local population, uh, therefore, is also a very sophisticated uh, population. So it's easy to test and to, to measure what happens in this market. Some of the challenges we've faced were uh, coverage. Um, most of our, our initial deployment has been uh, around our use cases and our, our partners. We have been trying to align our initial deployment with needs in the, both our enterprise and our consumer business units. That effective planning has been important in the, in the first phase and will be more and more important as we, as we build out in finding the right spots to deploy 5G. Nokia has been a great partner for us in 4G, and so it was very natural for us to choose them to help us with our 5, on our 5G journey. That close relationship, we feel, is a competitive advantage for us. Uh, the global expertise and, and, uh, and know-how that they bring to us is, uh, is a real value for us. As a, as a small island operator, uh, we have limitations on our, our capabilities. We need to look to world-class partners that will help us to provide world-class service. And Nokia's experience brings that to us. Our industry is changing very rapidly and we have to change with it. We're not only a mobile operator, we're a quad play here. So as a quad play with video, uh, you know, I mean, television, telephone, um, and internet, we need to integrate all of those into one platform. And in doing that, we really need to have partners that will evolve as that industry evolves. Um, the voice business used to be that we had voice revenue that voice revenue is gone. So the entire dynamic of our industry has changed and we need to have partners that will evolve with us inside that change. And if we don't change, we can't compete. Collaboration is incredibly important in our market because we there's only so many things we can do alone. We need to use the power of our partners to give us the power that we need in this market. The Nokia team works side by side with our own network team to, uh, in everything that they do. So we see that as, uh, as kind of a seamless uh, teamwork that we have uh, in working with Nokia. I think the highlight is that we, f we with Nokia, is that we feel that the Nokia team is like our own team. They work so closely with our network department that there's no difference between us and them being a vendor, that we see them as integral part of our overall network operation. So in that way, um, I think that's probably the goal that we had to, to create that relationship and it, you know, it's as good as it, as, it, as it gets as far as our cooperation right now.